Well, we finished the first part of our day. We are done with flag football. Uh, now we are heading to Sky Zone. We're going to have uh, the girls and Ollie are going to have a little fun at Sky Zone. Why are you taking my charger? Or where's the charger for the... What is this one? Yeah, he needs the charger that Ollie has back there. Um, we're going to take care of some of the videos now, finish up the videos for the day. We did our opening already. We're going to do our racehorse portion of the uh, up the videos. We're going to start with Brace for Landing. Race good the other day, right line the whole way. Tim is working on that. Found a few little things that are bothering him, some stuff we can work on. So I expect him to be a little bit better at the very least next week. Uh, Save America raced well. He drops down a little bit now in class. Raced very admirably the other day. I thought the horse hung in there tough considering it to be used in, a, in an odd place down the back stretch into the last turn. Uh, the horse in behind him and one of the horse jumped on him. He raced good. He'll race better down in class. Spitfire Overseas, I did talk to Stacy. Uh, we're going to look at maybe entering him Thursday at the Meadows. See if we can get him in there. If not, um, in a perfect world, I would like to get Spitfire in at the Meadows and uh, Yo Mister in at uh, in at, uh, at Dayton, but we'll we'll see how that plays out this week. Um, Tactical Mounds still in the process of working through how that is going to be arranged. I, I believe Megan's uh, Addy, turn it down, or I'll take it out away. Uh, Megan's proposal is to. Uh, Shut her down, which I agree with. I think you should shut her down and get her ready for uh, breeding season 2025. Nothing is set in stone just yet. I know there's some conversations back and forth uh, regarding tactical mounts. I'll give everybody an update when I know more. Tech Song Soprano raced awesome the other night at the Meadowlands. Very, very happy with Tech Song Soprano. All gas, no brakes. Race decent in his return race, finishing fifth, closing up well. I'd like to see a. Um, I'd like to see a great mile from him this week. Again, didn't draw the greatest, I don't think. I see that James picked over him. We'll see how he races this week coming up. Greatest ending, so-so. He raced okay last week. I'd like to see uh, I'd like to see him come forward. He's going to have to drop down a little bit in class. All those classes are very, very tough. Let's see if he can drop down and do some damage this week or the, the weeks coming up, I should say. JK Victory's coming back Monday morning from uh, the field. He'll be joining us at Northfield Park for the foreseeable future. I doubt you'll see him race at Northfield Park, but it's always possible. He did train down well before we qualified him at the Meadows there, so we'll see what takes place with JK Victory moving forward um, as we bring him back in. Looks like money, a winner is last, but now up into the preferred. He struggled at this preferred level uh, since returning um, since returning in 2024, we'll see if he can get back on track and get back in doing some damage in the pre free for all. That would be good for us. Neptune is training down. We are going to castrate Neptune. Apparently, he's a an ornery little bugger. So we're going to castrate Neptune in the at some point in the near future. For right now, he continues to train down in Ontario and get ready for racing. Rock Shining Star drops way down in class next week. We'll see what he can do with a class drop. Three Point Blue Chip raced well, continues to race pretty well in Dayton. We'll see how he races coming up. Troisa also is training down well in Ontario with Harry Poulton. Yo Mister is, uh, Yo Mister is, um, Yo Mister was really, really good the other day. A lot of things on my mind. Yo Mister was very, very good the other day in, uh, in the Meadows. We'll see how he continues to race. Uh, south of the border, Chevron's bypass, out in the field for three weeks. We found out uh, why it was so important. Her blood was a mess. When we looked at it, Jason called me. Uh, she'd already gone to the field, said it was a good time to get her out to the field. He said she tied up a little bit. Her liver was high. Her reds were low. It was just a mess. See if we can get her back on track when we get her back in. Um, Delicious Stone DK, so happy to hear from Dominic today say that the scope went well with, uh, the scope went well with, um, uh, with Delicious Stone. Now, all we have to do is get him back going and back on track. That's the hope. Patrick DePrana raced about as good as he could from post nine the other night. I was happy with him. Love to see him now. If we want to keep him in Dayton, he's going to have to continue to race tough. I know he drops down, but 
Um, as I said to Jason, that glass has not been filling at the Meadows, right? This is the season where we're doing our best to try and figure out where our horses fit, uh, where our horses fit without getting them in too much trouble class-wise. It has not been easier said than done, the number of these horses. But we continue to make amendments, move our horses around, make changes. Hopefully we can find some uh, consistency in the classifications uh, for all our horses across the board at the stable. So with that, those are your age sources. Come back in just a minute with your three-year-olds and I'll give you two-year-olds and you're all caught up for this week.